Hi, I'm Sheen. I'm Abby. And I'm Matt. And, and we're, we're from, from OC Habitats. Habitats. OC Habitats is a habitat conservation nonprofit in Orange County, California. This video is our first in the series about the native habitats in the region. This region of Southern California is especially diverse with our many different ecosystems. We will be discussing these systems from the mountains to the ocean. Orange County is located in Southern California, nestled among Los Angeles, Riverside, and San Diego counties, with a population of approximately 3.2 million people. Orange County's habitats include tide pools, beach dunes, wetlands, coastal sage scrub, grasslands, riparian, oak woodlands, and chaparral. Orange County's habitats have been shaped by its history and varied geography. Historically, the original inhabitants of Orange County were the Tongva and the Huaneño tribes. They were peaceful, respected their environment, and lived primarily in the canyons and along the coast. However, during the Spanish Rancho movement in the 1830s, human impact on the environment increased. Due to the focus on cattle grazing and farming, much of the native grasslands were decimated. Following the farming period came a time of rapid industrialization. From 1860s to the 1930s, cities sprung up rapidly and the population boomed. The transportation sector gained more importance and led to the introduction of railways, roadways, and ports. Newport Bay was used as a port for some time due to the increase in commercial activity in Orange County. At this time, it was discovered that Orange County had rich oil deposits, which were needed for the booming transport industry. From the 1930s onwards, the transportation sector grew with the introduction of cars and encouraged urban growth. This led to the development of interstate freeways. In the 1980s and 90s, toll roads were added to make commutes easier, but they were controversial since many toll roads crossed over or were built on sensitive habitats. From the 90s to the present day, development continued all over the county. As mentioned previously, Orange County's varied geography contributes to its numerous habitats. The region contains coastal plains and valleys, mountains, mesas, hills, and canyons that are home to different habitats. The main features are the Santa Ana Mountains and the Santa Ana River, which is within one of the 11 watersheds in Orange County. The largest contributing body of water in the county watershed is the Santa Ana River, which runs from the Inland Empire's San Bernardino Mountains down to the border of Newport and Huntington Beach, where it drains into the ocean. Now that you've learned a little bit about Orange County's history, what is the main factor that has shaped Orange County's habitats? Is it A, humans, B, aliens, or C, the weather? Did you pick A, humans? That's correct. Humans have shaped Orange County's habitats more than any other factor in recent years. The tide pools are rocky areas that occupy the intertidal zone along the coast. They are periodically filled with water as the tides change throughout the day. These pools are home to a variety of diverse marine species including crustaceans, anemones, barnacles, and even octopus. Orange County's major tide pools are located in Little Corona, Laguna Beach, Crystal Cove State Beach, and Dana Point. Our other coastal habitat here in Orange County is the coastal dunes. In the past, this habitat has thrived all along the California coast. However, they have since been degraded by human activity and are now relatively scarce. This habitat relies on light vegetation and sand dunes that are naturally created through wind patterns and various methods of erosion. The coastal dunes are home to two of our listed bird species, the California least tern and the western snowy plover. These shorebirds rely heavily on the sand patterns and plants for their habitat and nesting. Wetlands are areas of land that are saturated in water. The species that inhabit a wetland vary and are reliant on the amount of water present, the salinity of the water, and the changes that occur throughout the year. California wetlands are home to various animals such as herons, seabirds, rodents, sharks, rays, and many more. Specific types of wetlands include salt marshes, freshwater marshes, and vernal pools. Each of these systems are unique and important to the overall ecosystems, watersheds, and to the creatures who rely on them. Coastal sage scrub is another coastal habitat found all over Orange County that is characterized by a diverse vegetation such as lichens and shrubs and many animal species such as reptiles, mammals, and birds including the endangered California gnatcatcher. 
During the summer months, coastal sage scrub plants appear to be dead, but don't worry, they are actually just dormant. They are drought deciduous, meaning that they drop their leaves during dry seasons to conserve water as a survival tool in our Mediterranean climate. Woo, that was a lot of new information about those last four habitats. Now, let's test and see what you can remember. What two listed bird species used the coastal dunes habitat? Is it A, the California least tern and western snowy plover? B, the California gnatcatcher and least bells vario? Or C, the ridgeways rail and loggerhead shrike? If you guessed A, you are correct. The California least tern and western snowy plover are our two listed species that use this habitat. Riparian habitat refers to the area alongside a river or stream or on the banks of a lake or pond. The flowing bodies of water result in the riparian habitat and as they make their way down towards the ocean they help form the wetlands. The plants in this area like moist soil but do not necessarily grow in the water. Willows and cottonwoods are common as well as other trees and large shrubs. A wide variety of animal life can be found here including some of California's endemic and endangered species like the arroyo toad. Riparian vegetation can remove excess nutrients and sediment from surface runoff and shallow groundwater, as well as shade streams to optimize light and temperature conditions for aquatic plants, fish, and other animals. Coastal oak woodlands occur in coastal foothills and valleys across Orange County, as well as at elevations from just above sea level near the immediate coast to about 5,000 feet in the interior regions. Quail, squirrels, and deer may be so dependent on acorns from oak woodlands in fall and early winter that a poor acorn year can result in significant declines in their populations. Development of mature large trees requires 60 to 80 years, and most of the trees of the coastal oak woodlands are at least this old. Chaparral is California's most extensive native plant community. Properly defined, Chaparral is a semi-arid environment dominated by woody plants, and it is shaped by summer drought and mild wet winters. In a natural state, chaparral relies on infrequent fires to thrive, however the intensity of recent man-made fires damages the chaparral beyond recovery. Chaparral is primarily a California phenomenon, and it provides essential protection against erosion, allows underground water supplies to recharge, moderates local climate, provides important habitat for an interesting assortment of animals, and offers unique opportunities to remain connected to nature on a local level. Chaparral can be found in only five locations worldwide, California, the Mediterranean, South Africa, Australia, and Chile. Today there is little to no native grasslands left in Orange County after a long history of overgrazing and out-competition from invasive plant species. But long before the gold rush brought ranchers en masse to California, native Californians burned, dug, tilled, and pruned the grasslands to maintain the biological resources they used for food, medicine, and construction materials. From there, urbanization took over, developing the lands that could have potentially returned to a grassland state. Hello there. Now that you've learned about four more habitats, here's a question for you. Coastal oaks provide which important food source for animals? Is it A, berries, B, acorns, or C, leaves? If you guessed B, that's correct. Remember that in drought seasons, coastal oaks provide less acorns, which leads to less for the animals that rely on them. Thank you for watching our tour on the habitats of Orange County, California. We hope you enjoyed the program. Stay tuned for upcoming videos featuring each habitat mentioned here in more detail. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell for more notifications from OC Habitats. For more information, you can find us at www.ochabitats.org, our Facebook page, and Instagram.